I'm a PhD student at NJIT, and I have an astrophysics degree from New Mexico Tech in New Mexico. As an astronomer, I study different things, galaxies and stars elsewhere. And sometime through my un undergraduate studies, I became aware that there was a, a lot of research going on on the sun. I, th I used to think that the sun was already, everything on the sun had already been discovered, but it turns out that not. There's a lot of things on the sun that, as humans, we do not understand. I'm doing my graduate studies at the Center for Solar Terrestrial Research here. Uh, the center owns two observatories, and both in the radio, which is the one that I use the most to, as a diagnostics tools for the sun, and we also have an optical observatory. Although both are in California, both are controlled and run from here at NJIT. The radio observatory, which is the Owens Valley Radio Array, is the one that I work with the closest. I analyze the data. And the other observatory is an optical observatory, and that is used to track features on the sun. Having the two observatories also means that we have uh, leading researchers in the field who are our professors. As a graduate student here at NJIT in solar physics, I not only get to do my research in my office, but I also get to travel to conferences and expose my name, uh, expose my research, and learn from other scientists through our interactions. So my thesis work here at NJIT involves uh, developing a method to create three-dimensional maps of the magnetic field of the sun. I want these maps to depict what's going on the, on the sun on a day-to-day -day basis. This has never been done before, and I'm combining several methods that have been tried in the past with some new things uh, to try to actually develop a true three-dimensional map of the sun. It's important to understand the magnetic configuration on the sun because it is believed that this is one of the things that really drives a lot of the activity that affects the Earth. Our center has published several papers explaining how the solar phenomena affects the Earth. Sometimes these storms can be strong enough to disrupt wireless communications or even disable satellites.